back to the channel. My name is Ronaldo Moore with PPG, and if you are new to the channel, <laughs> where have you been? Come on, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when these videos are dropping. Today's topic is about mechanical. I'm bringing you a residential mechanical final. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you again on the next one. All right, I'm back. I am doing a mechanical final. Brand new home. I'll be coming out of the 2018 RC and some of the 2018 IMC, International Mechanical Code. You're looking at the kitchen area here. It's a brand new home. Mechanical final. At this point, everything is covered up, so this should go pretty fast. Let's start here on the main level. I first check for any bathrooms and make sure that the exhaust fan is, is present. Make sure all exhaust fans are present and working. And that one is, and it's working. Let's move on to the kitchen area. Uh, as your gas range, I need to check to make sure there's a shutoff valve behind there. So let's pull this thing out if I can. Make sure. Whoa, that there's a shutoff valve behind there. And it is. You see that there? All right, good to go. I also check to make sure that that's not a flex duct up under that, that cover. All right, I took some time and took off that, that covering above the uh, kitchen exhaust. There's your, your hard duct. That's what you need. So it should look like not that flex and it's terminating on the exterior. Let's move on to the garage. This is the garage here. There's your instantaneous water heater with the intake and exhaust going out the side of the house. You got your gas line. You got your shutoff valve here. Just sediment trap for that gas line. And we're moving on. Let's go on to the next level here. It's House has three levels, so let's go up to the next level. So there, there are two units in this house, two air handlers in this house. And one's on the second level, it's right here. And out there, you go, you got your, your pan, your drain line there, you got your float switch there, condensate is going down to a hub drain. So if that pan fills up and condensate starts to leak down that drain line, it goes out and it terminates above that window. So someone will know that there's an issue here. But there's your disconnect. That's pretty much what that little mechanical room looks like on the second floor. Uh, laundry room here. The dry exhaust duct is present. I think that's the master. And that's the shower. Here's your exhaust fan. There, bathroom. I'm sorry, toilet room. Make sure everything's working. It's working. Let's try the exhaust fan for the shower area. That one's working. So we're moving on to the other side of the house. Let's go. And really, like I said, I'm just checking for exhaust fans, make sure they're present and working. They are. So we're moving on. And this house has a third level. Let's go up to the next level here. And the third, the second unit is sits up here the top level it's a little unfinished area here i guess they're going to use that for storage but that's the other unit right there same setup get your float switch your pan the 
condensate is going down to that hub drain on the second level we just came up from the second level and that's your drain line from the pan and that one terminates above a window as well and the bathroom up here is right here and just check to make sure exhaust fans are present and working and next we're going to take a look on the exterior all right i am outside now checking the, the condensers and checking for locking access port caps and for the max breaker amp and the locking access port caps are present the max breaker on these you see is 20 on one and i think it's 30 on the other let's see the other one is 30 you can see that 30 on the other one so i'll check that up against what's on the panel the only issue i have here is that these condensers are not labeled you know and there's your, your disconnect it's not right behind the the condensers but they're not labeled i don't know which one is for the upstairs which one is for the main level i have no idea so they need to come back and label these condensers and also label them on the panel as well also check to make sure that any gas piping on the exterior is painted okay that these condensers are sitting on a a plastic pad we're going to either have concrete or plastic uh, they didn't do a very good job elevating these these pads you got a bit of a slope coming down this little walkway area but as you can see there's no you can't even see the pad here because it's, it's covered up and it's definitely not elevated above above grade so you definitely have to come back and, and correct that you have to make sure it's elevated at least minimum three inches above grade but they have some elevation on this side, but you need to do a better job. All right, I'm on the other side of the house now. And as you can see, those are the bathroom exhaust duct there. And everything's terminating on the exterior. And that is the kitchen exhaust duct. there all right so while I'm outside I also check and what you're looking at is that that drain line there's a unit up there are two units it's one on the second floor and there's another one on the top floor that's a drain line from that pan right up under that that air handler and if that pan fills up and it starts to leak out of that drain line it's purposely placed over a window so someone would would notice that that condensate is leaking or that the condensate in that drain pan is full and there is a problem so it it's purposely put over a window you see that and there you have it residential mechanical final brand new home three story Give you a little, little insight on what I look for when I'm doing a residential mechanical final. So hope you got something from it. And we'll see you again on the next one.